Hey there Cancer, welcome to Shared Sensions and thanks so much for being here, really appreciate it. So this is going to be your general weekly reading. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all of that stuff should be addressed within the description box down below, as well as information for my Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon. So we're going to go ahead and jump around into this here for you Cancer. What's going on for you Cancer, please? What's going on for Cancer? <clears throat> Lots of majors <laughs> showing up here, you guys. So the Nine of Pentacles is the overall energy. So this is Virgo energy showing up here. So I feel like you're trying to reach some kind of goal here, okay? Um, in the past, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and uh, the Moon. So, both Capricorn with the uh, Queen and Four, and then with the Moon, that's Pisces and Cancer. All right. So, I feel like there's something that you were holding on to in the past here. It could have been a person, but I feel like it's a skill, or I just feel like it's power in general, honestly. We're going to clarify this, though. The moon being here, I feel like you kept something in the dark here. Especially with that four of pentacles, you kept something quiet. Held it really closely to your chest here. Some of you guys could need some work on the heart chakra with that four of pentacles. What's the queen of pentacles about? Queen of swords. Four of pentacles, the chariot. The moon, two of swords. Yeah, I feel like really this is about needing to trust yourself here in the past. With the queen of swords here, I feel like you weren't really being honest with yourself. I also feel like you guys had some healing that you weren't really, um, I don't know how to explain it here. You, there was a part of yourself here that you weren't really uh, nurturing, okay? Uh, that you weren't comforting enough. That's how this feels here. And because of that, you didn't want to do things. You didn't want to take certain risks. You didn't want to put in the work on things that could potentially disappoint you with that Queen of Pentacles. Um, but I don't feel that they would have. All right, you've got the Chariot showing up here with this Four of Pentacles. So I feel like there was something here that could have brought you major victory in the past. I still feel like you're going to get that or you are getting that because the Chariot's showing up in your current energy as well. But with that Four of Pentacles, you know, that Pentacle that's resting on top of his head there, that can represent somebody who can't really see how grand they are, okay? And I do feel like that's because you're holding things to yourself, okay? Whether this is skills or talents or abilities, because this is major intuitive energy here uh, with the moon and the two of swords. So the two of swords is someone, uh, it's moon and Libra. So it, uh, moon energy, moon is intuition, it's your feelings. So I feel like this is really having to go with your gut, trust yourself, okay? Um, so that's something there. And then you've got the lovers, the chariot, and the empress showing up here. So there is a turning point. You're being called to take a turn here, okay, to go in a different direction, all right? That's where the growth is, all right? But there's a test here with this nine of pentacles. You've not quite hit this empress energy yet. That's what you're trying to move towards. But the nine of pentacles is the overall energy. So I'm going to clarify all this here. What's the lovers about? Okay. So we're getting the Knight of Wands reversed. So there's something that's not moving here. Um, or you're not feeling motivated to do something. To close something out. Okay. Some of you guys are having to tell someone goodbye here with the world showing up. Um, fixed energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. That Knight of Wands is Sag. Okay. So yeah, I feel like you guys are having to leave someone behind here. Who's not moving or growing or evolving. What's the Empress about? The High Priestess, yeah, I feel like you guys are having to trust your gut, okay? You're having to just go where you're led. Uh, and then you've got the High Priestess here, uh, Pisces Energy with the Tower, Scorpio and Aries, and the Five of Pentacles, okay? Tell me about the High Priestess and the Tower, Eight of Pentacles, Eight. So the number eight is going to be significant to you guys right now. Eights can represent um, abundance. Uh, they can also represent balancing um, spiritual and material aspects of your life as well. So that could be something that you're doing here too. Um, because while you realize that we live in a 3D world, um, 
I still feel like you're getting to know yourself with this Eight of Wands. There's no figure present here in this card, but I do feel like you're having to say goodbye to a person in order to do that, okay? Um, in order to get to know yourself and get to know where you're supposed to go, that person can't be taking up space on your path. So then you've got the Five of Pentacles showing out here. Okay, so uh, we're getting the Fool, the Knight of Cups, and the Empress. Okay, so yeah, I feel like you're just going to have to take a leap of faith on this vision, um, on this dream that you have. That's the only way that you're going to get to this Empress mode, okay? So the Five of Pentacles here in the future, plus the Four of Pentacles, I really feel like this is also about not leaning on other people, uh, learning to use your own talents and gifts and skills. Uh, so the five and the four make the nine, which is the overall energy, okay? So I feel like you're going to have to leave someone behind and go through this pain of separating from a person that you're very connected to, attached to. Um, I'm not sure why that is, but there's there's somebody here that, you know, is not moving or growing or evolving, and they're kind of holding you back. So that's someone that you're having to say goodbye to. So, I mean, after that, I feel like you're going to be getting everything you want and more with this Empress showing up here. It's shown up here a lot, so... That's what I'm seeing here for you guys. Uh, trust your gut. That's been an overall theme of a lot of these readings, actually. Um, and what else? I was going to say something else. Oh, there are other readings over on Patreon. So if you guys want to check those out, feel free. There is a link to the page down below in the description box. But if this is where we part, I want to thank you guys so much for, for watching and supporting me. And you guys have a great week. Bye.